Welcome to a presentation of the latest enhancements and additions to InVivo. With InVivo 6, doctors can create 3D volume renderings on their own computer, get cross sections, trace nerves, place implants, print and save images, analyze airways, and many more functions. Let's take a look at a few of the new features in InVivo 6. A new endo view has been added to InVivo, offering a more complete examination of both internal and external tooth structures. Clinicians can more easily visualize internal canal morphology, including root curvature, number, and location of canals. After a tooth is selected, you may scroll through its axial and lateral views for a more thorough examination. Once the volume is segmented and the tooth is isolated, the pulp view control may be selected to allow for better visualization of the canal. Working length measurements can be performed in either the 2D cross-sectional views or the 3D pulp view to calculate root and endodontic file length. Simply choose measurement in the control panel, then place a beginning and an ending point from the crown through the visible canal. A dedicated airway view has been added to handle all airway analysis, allowing the user to seamlessly visualize, easily trace, and accurately measure the patient's airway in 3D. The Airway tab allows airway visualizations, access to the properties of a patient's airway, and additional tools for data export and presentations. By placing points along the segmented airway, a minimum area and volume is computed as well as the anterior, posterior, and right and left distances. The airway volume can be rotated to allow for a more detailed analysis and to aid in doctor-patient discussions. You may segment the airway by selecting the sculpting tool to remove any unwanted anatomy. Also new to InVivo is the ability to create a fly-through simulation of the airway. There is now an export function that will allow for the creation and export of slice data, summary data, a 3D airway model, and graphs. With InVivo 6, the user can now build separate maxillary and mandibular arch splines, enabling the cross sections to be viewed more effectively. Maxillary arch and mandibular arch options allow two different arch splines to be created and saved. Switching between the two options changes which spine is manipulated and used in creating the panoramic and cross sections. The Anatomage Cloud is introduced in InVivo 6, allowing for faster and easier file sharing. Quick collaboration is achieved as the case can then be accessed for web-based viewing on any tablet, laptop, or mobile device. This brings a new level of collaboration and mobility to every practice. To send a case through Anatomage Cloud, the software prompts the user to sign in to an Anatomage Cloud account. If no account was previously made, click Create Account to get started. After logging in, the user can input the recipient's name, email, message subject, and notes. This information and the link to accessing the case will be sent to the recipient's email. The 
recipient of the email can then download the file and view it on their full version of InVivo or preview the case through the browser viewer or download the viewer and scan for further use. A new feature that allows for the customization of the software's workflow will bring smiles to the faces of previous users. By clicking on the File tab of the menu bar and selecting Manage Workflow, you will be able to make changes in the workflow of the View tabs. A View tab's name may be edited by clicking on its name and changing it. You may also change the order of the tabs on the toolbar. For example, you might want to begin your case planning by viewing a panoramic and the cross-sectional slices in the Arch View section tab rather than the default section view. Therefore, it might be more efficient to relocate the Arch Section View tab to the beginning of the list so it will open when the case loads into the software. A View tab may be removed from or added to the toolbar. Let's remove the Superimposition tab. To lock in our changes, the software must be closed. Hereafter, when a scan is loaded into the software, the changes will be recognized. You will see that the Arch View tab has been renamed to the Arch section and is now open. The Superimposition tab has been removed from the list. Another new customization feature gives the user the ability to modify the control panel. By double mouse clicking at the top of the control panel, you may then move it to another location on the desktop or to an extended display allowing for a cleaner desktop appearance. A new black and white color theme is introduced in InVivo 6. Two color themes are now available. When you first open InVivo 6, the default theme will be black and white, designed for a radiologist or the doctor that likes a more traditional radiology appearance. While this setting may be preferred by some, there is still the availability of the classic view. This is easily changed by clicking on the File tab of the menu bar then opening and making changes in the preferences. In Vivo 6 allows the user to adjust visibilities in the Volume Render View tab. In the control section of Volume Render, the user may toggle on and off placed nerves and implants, stone models, and traced airways and nasal cavities. Additional to the new features you have just seen, InVivo offers more new and improved features. The software now allows for the export of restorations as an STL file. There is an improved PAX integration and easier capture file saving functions. InVivo 6 is based on a new multi-platform code to offer more consistent Mac and Windows versions. The software allows for the adjustment of the brightness and contrast of each viewing window in the Section View tab. InVivo now offers smoother scrolling through the cross-sectional slices. A new toolbar function has been added to the Arch View tab that will allow for the rotation of the cross-sectional slices. The Superimposition View tab now allows for more than one pair of scans to be loaded simultaneously for comparison purposes. New to the software are tools to download implant library updates directly from the InVivo 6 user interface. And lastly, onboard Intel graphics cards are now capable of effectively viewing 3D images. The minimum requirement is an Intel HD 4000, although an Intel Iris Pro option is more preferred. AMD and NVIDIA cards are still viable higher-end options. If you have any questions regarding InVivo 6, please do not hesitate to call Cabo Dental Imaging Technical Support at 866-528-6537.